welcome that time again welcome to the hot and spicy how's the week gone for you your good health happy and all that jazz okay prawn curry king prawn curry made from scratch not sure how that looks lots of prawns in there and i've made made a curry sauce and uh, mrs h has had i'd say half the sauce and she's added stuff herself to that and then uh, then i added the the prawns and stuff like that we've got some beautiful rice i've done a few chips we got some poppadoms and two weeks this monday coming i bottled mm, my own cider it might be a bit early carbonation in another week or so we'll get a bit better but i'm going to open one to try it to show you in case anybody's ever going to make this it's simple now listen to this that's a good sign carbonation so let's see what it looks like There you go, carbonation, so we can see it bubbling up, maybe not, but, uh, it does need a bit longer really, but let's try it. Wow, oh sweet, apple and pear you see, apple and pear. Yeah, there's slight carbonation, but it needs longer. In fact, I should have added a bit more sugar in the bottle. Half a teaspoon instead of a quarter, really. Um, but that is beautiful. It's just over 9% in strength, but it's sweet and it's lovely. Simple. Right, simples. A bit like me. Prawn curry. Mmm. Now, Mrs. H, she can handle more heat than I th give her credit for. Because um, I've made this. It's not super hot, but it's got a kick. It's, it's, it's hot, but it's not, you know. Mm. So, how's a week, all right? What are you up to then, this weekend? Because we're popping... Popping out to popping out to my ablet. Eh? Mm. To a place um we're gonna be filming a few things in aid of Christmas time. So you'll see all these little clips I go on about. Um Christmas time. This is absolutely stunning. How do I make it? Well, not followed anybody's recipe it's a bit of my own take on it um olive oil in the pan frying pan wok um I chopped a whole onion should have done a bit more really if i'd have known got spilt on there um i'd have done a bit more if i'd have known mrs h liked this so much so chopped an onion in the pan I then put some mushrooms in here um, I chopped in my little Kenwood chopper three three chilies whole chilies seeds and all two cloves of garlic and some fresh ginger then added that to the mix then I added the spices cumin coriander garam masala fenugreek um, turmeric uh, some black pepper something else cumin what was that cumin and then I tasted it and added some hot chili, uh, curry powder it's a lovely kick and then simmered it simple as that Oh, it's beautiful. 
Nice. Mmm. So we have it. You're probably posh your heading out here. Heading oh bear with me. I just remembered I've forgotten the um I got a Peshwari naan here. Two ticks. And we're back. I nearly forgot about this. The reason I'm having this because the one we had in the Indian lounge was the best naan bread I've ever tasted. God. Bear with me, this isn't going to be up to that standard, I doubt, because it's only a Tesco one. So, uh, oh, nowhere near it. Nowhere near it. Wow. Terrible. The um, garlic and coriander one has got more taste than that. That is bland. I won't get that again. Wow. Yeah, so nipping out tomorrow. God, it's been what a week. Busy. And we've had a day or two. Mm, rain, rain. But you know that fine rain where you're out in and you you tend to when it's belting down you, you you're as quick as you can and in and out and but when it's fine you think oh it's not so bad <laughs> that's just it just soaks you it's, um, hmm. but this is stunning wow loads of prawns Last time I did something with prawns, someone said in the comments, it makes me laugh how you call shrimps prawns. Well, I call these prawns because they're prawns, shrimps are something else. They look similar, but they're not the same. A prawn is a prawn, a shrimp is a, sh well, shrimp. Mm. However, different countries may class these as a shrimp or something I don't know but um, here these are prawns and shrimps are a similar thing but these are king prawns these are the bigger bigger mamas so if you I don't know if you can focus on this but you see the onion mm. You see, when you make curries yourself, I have an idea of the heat I'll get by using what I'm using, like chilies, how many, curry powder, chilli powder. It's beautiful. It's quite warm in here today. No heating. Mmm. Absolutely stunning. And this, as I say, I'll leave the other bottles now till Christmas, just a tester. But I'm hoping the carbonation steps up. If it doesn't, I sh will have to add uh, half a teaspoon of sugar uh, when bottling, not quarter like I did. But the taste, oh, it's sweet, it's beautiful. Two bottles of that you'll know about it. So it's just nice to make things, isn't it? I'll be um, starting my curry plants, uh, chili plants, curry plant, early next year. Carolina Reaper. 
got 10 of them, 10 seeds, and see how many take. Mm, nice change. My, my favourite curry is a lamb curry. Then, mm, well, beef and chicken, roughly the same. Um, the rustic curry I made was lovely, uh, which is just the whole chicken thighs and things just in the pan and curried. I know a few that watch me have made that and they've made it several times and they said the families loved it. It's uh, you're still on it's a curry, but you eat the chicken, it's on the it comes off the bone and all. Beautiful. Look at that sauce. That's beautiful. Mm. So that's that. No, I think I'll finish. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow, I can feel it now. Ooh. <laughs> I only need two of them. It's good night. Mm. And I've had nothing to eat all day. As I say, as he wipes his brow, it's not a hot curry. As in hot, hot, it's a beautiful tingle. Um, I'm Mrs. H loved it. So, um, but Peshwari Nan Tesco's rubbish, don't bother. More taste in the sole of my shoe. But I must admit, we were spoiled with this. If you ever go to that, it's called the Indian Lounge between Mould and Denby. Um, absolutely stunning excellent service um nothing's too much trouble i tried an indian lager for, well it was in the video um i might have said this before but it was uh, stunning absolutely stunning and um the curry because different places have different heat so i went with a um a lamb madras i had It was lovely, but I'm sorry I didn't have the Vindaloo, and they do a foul. So we go again, it'll be Vindaloo next time, we go again, it'll be foul probably. Yeah, but uh, excellent. And they give you hot towels at the end, in packets, to clean yourself. And a shot of Baileys and ice, just a, and a mint chocolate. Oh, the service is absolutely astounding. I'm quick to serve. Really good. So I recommend that place to anybody. As a treat. And very reasonable. Yeah. Right, we're going out tomorrow. Um, for about, we'll be out for three hours, probably something like four hours. So I'm doing liver and onions. Lamb's, not for everybody I know, but lamb's liver, onions. Um, and I'll do a sort of buttered and salted mash to go within the gravy. And I'll do more, so I've got another meal in the week of it, and that'll be... 
well you know yourselves if you do stuff um, once it's marinated even overnight oh that taste man my liver and onions video is one of the most popular um comes up every day on my my analytics on youtube tells you how your channel's doing um and the the most popular two most popular videos that come up every day and it'll say a hundred people have watched this today in one day um is the cottage pie and the liver and onions video um, but along with the high views come you get a lot of silly comments on it you know the what i call the the keyboard chefs the <laughs> Oh, you've gone the long way around making that. Oh, you've added this. You shouldn't have added that. And oh, you've spoilt it. And uh, after reaction, you see. And it's taken me a few years to learn the best thing you can ever do with anything negative on YouTube. I don't mind constructive criticism if people say nicely. But um, well, I'm heading over to Carly now. But these people are just they're just rude they just want to be saying things and see how you react don't answer if you ever get a nasty comment report it don't answer because that i've said this before if you do youtube i mean just uh, be the bigger person and don't answer because these what do they call them trolls or idiots Carlin. a waste of human skin I call it <laughs> um, all they want is a reaction from me or from you the viewers and so if you don't if you ignore it that's the worst thing you can do they hate that and that's what I do so uh, but you can expect it on YouTube you get the good bad and the ugly but these shoulders can take it. <laughs> no, I don't get a lot, fair play, very good. But um I'm just saying when you get high views on certain videos, um you get that sort of stuff. I think YouTube recommend them or something. Um but I get a lot of positive feedback as well, you know, people saying that they funny enough a lady said the other day uh, yesterday was it? She said um your grandmother makes it exactly the same as mine did and then um, she said I'm making it tomorrow today actually so if you're watching I hope you enjoy it like anything um, food wise recipe wise there's so many ways of doing things um, it's a bit like um, cooking videos actually they're a bit like politics and religion they can cause them to <laughs> cause some trouble because <laughs> people have got so many ideas um, and ways which is fine but um, sometimes it's just the way they deliver those comments you know it's good but this was absolutely stunning It's not hot hot but there's a lovely heat tingle to be fair though you've got to be careful with prawns because they're such a delicate taste a curry can easily you won't taste anything but with this moderate heat I'm getting heat tingle but I'm also tasting the king prawn you know the so it's lovely and the rice lovely naan bread failure terrible chips you've got a couple of popper downs there that's a success but as i say i hope it, with leaving it it'll carbonate a bit more um but it may not i should have added more but it's a lovely drink it's like a still cider. If it's not, it doesn't matter. It's like a still cider. But usually you get a bit of a fizz. More than this. The last batch I did um, had more. 
but um, it's just nice you know to make things and be a bit creative um, with everything really like tomatoes growing your own chilies things I love to eat and you can do so much with and um, there's something about trying and tasting your own thing you're very proud inside you're very proud of what you've done um, and it's nice you know, it's, uh, anyway, God, going on. Thanks for watching. Hot and spicy, and I'll see you. Um, when's the next video? No clips of the week tomorrow because I've been busy all week, and then we're out tomorrow as well. So, but um, there will be future, future ones, and more, th more stuff to come. So, if you follow me on the other channel, I'll see you in the morning. Um, but if not, have a great weekend. Stay safe. Eat something hot and spicy, maybe even hotter than this. But that was a success. Prawn, King prawn curry. Beautiful. So um, all the best. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. May as well finish this off. Cheers. And homemade apple and pear cider.